Hey guys, it's Savannah and welcome to our new era. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the types of teachers that you may have encountered throughout your elementary, middle school, or high school years, or you will encounter them. So let's get to it. The first teacher that I've encountered is the one who is always gone, either because they're pregnant or they're sick or they're sick and they're just, they're hardly ever there. And sometimes it's a good thing because maybe they're not such a good teacher. The next one is the club focused teacher always on about their club and just like, okay, go ahead and finish whatever work that you have, that you have to finish still because I got stuff to work on for the club. The third is the personal life obsessed teacher they tend to talk about their own life whether it has something to do with what you said or it has nothing to do with it at all i haven't experienced this one but there are those extremely old teachers and they might be a bit slow or they might be quite fun you know I don't there's also the lazy teacher who just sits on their desk and is just on their phone and it's just like, oh, you can do whatever, I don't care, finish your work. Or, you know, they have you teach the class instead of them actually teaching. There's also the coach teacher, always on about football, sports, any kind, mostly football, because football is more important than education, that's what I learned. They usually only focus on the popular kids, I guess. That's what they would be considered, you know, the active ones. Now this one, I consider it hand in hand, It's but they are a bit different. It's the clueless and the gullible teacher. Of course, the clueless one is just doesn't know how to work technology, which is, which can be quite annoying and they don't know what they're doing. And the gullible one is just like, you know, the students always say, oh, they let us do this. Oh, we can get out early if we finish our work, which is not true, but they're gullible. So they believe it. Now I have encountered this one, which is the strict teacher and they tend to get mad at every little thing or usually they focus on the bad, bad people. Or once they find out that you have like a certain reputation or whatever, they just automatically assume you're like that and they don't even try to get to know you. They're just like, sit down, where are you going? They could also be like, you want to go to jail, boy? I find teachers who are holiday happy, quite fun, you know, it's all decorated. It makes you feel real comfortable in a way, I guess. But you know, there are teachers who overdo it. And those are the holiday happy teachers. Hey kids, Cinco de Mayo, walk in. How come you aren't wearing colors? It's Cinco de Mayo, okay? You better wear colors for next holiday. And the last and the most awesome teacher that I've usually encountered a lot is the cool teacher and they let you listen to your own music or they play music when you're working they let you bring in food and let you eat or they'll bring food for you or you can have parties even though you're not supposed to have parties at school they'll also let you watch movies on fridays like or they'll find any little thing oh it's your birthday let's watch a movie oh there's a person absent i don't want to finish work i don't want to have to lecture them again so let's watch a movie Oh, I gotta go to the restroom. Let's watch a movie, you know. And those all, those teachers are kind of cool, you know. But it does get kind of annoying because, you know, sometimes you do have to learn something. But, yeah. So, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below other types of teachers that you encountered or some of the ones that you have encountered that I mentioned in this video. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye! Bye.